Hello, and welcome to our next installment of the National Museum of the Marine Corps' Weapons Wednesday. I'm Jonathan Bernstein, the museum's arms and armor curator. One of the more fascinating aircraft weapons developed in the Empire of Japan during World War II was technically a rocket launcher. Fitted to the Japanese Army's Ki-44 2B Shoki interceptor, which the Allies nicknamed the Tojo, was, the gun was intended to shoot down American bombers. Although the 40 millimeter automatic cannon was classed as an aircraft gun, the round it fired was a self-contained, caseless projectile that had a fixed propellant in its base. In other words, a small rocket. The propellant was ignited by a traditional contact primer, but the burning powder gases were vented through 12 ports in the round's base when fired, producing a rocket exhaust to propel the projectile. The rifling in the gun barrel imparted spin stabilization as the round left the barrel and continued on to its target. The self-contained round, measuring just over five inches long, enabled compact ammunition supply to be carried for a gun of this caliber. Without the additional weight of cartridge and propellant, the gun retained the high explosive power of a 40 millimeter round, but without the associated weight and drag penalties. It also enabled the gun's designer to keep the overall size and weight of the gun to a minimum. Most 40 millimeter gun systems fitted to World War II combat aircraft were massive weapons, weighing a few hundred pounds, and had to be carrying, carried on an airplane's underwing pylons. The Ho 301 was just over 100 pounds and was completely enclosed within the Ki 44's wing. Despite its innovations, the Ho 301 only met with moderate success as a weapon system. It had an impressive rate of fire at roughly 475 rounds per minute, and the impact of just one or two rounds was enough to destroy an airplane. But the gun was plagued by an atrociously low muzzle velocity due to the limited amount of propellant in the base of the cartridge. The 301's rounds flew at only 800 feet per second, which limited its effective range to a mere 150 meters. By comparison, the 40 millimeter S gun carried by the British Hurricane had a muzzle velocity of 1900 feet per second. In order for the Ho 301 to be effective against American aircraft, the pilot would have to close to point blank range. While Marine aircraft did engage Imperial Japanese Army Ki 44s in combat, it's unclear whether any Marine pilots faced the Ho 301 armed variant, as there were relatively few built. The museum's gun was obtained in the immediate aftermath of the war and was tested extensively as part of the foreign equipment testing program undertaken by the War Department. Along with many of the automatic weapons in the collection, the Ho 301 became part of the museum's collection as a result of Marine Colonel George Chin's research for his four-volume masterwork on the evolution of the machine gun. For more information on the arms and armor collection and other fascinating artifacts at the National Museum of the Marine Corps, please check out our website and social media pages.